I'm going to the tackle shop to get some maggots. I will get quite a bit of that stuff. The plan is to obtain one gallon or about four and a half liters, I believe, and then target river bream, chub and roach using those maggots. I will be fishing the slider, which is very difficult method on still waters and it's even more complicated on the river, but I used it before and I know that it works quite well and I love fishing the slider. So yeah, now I'm close to the tackle shop. All I need to do to see if I will get those maggots. See you in a bit, guys. Okay, as you can see, that's an empty bucket of maggots. I don't even know how much it will look like, probably like that much. Okay, let's see and buy them. Here it is. We'll show you the amount. So yeah, that's a... I went for like seven points of bronze and one point of reds. Awesome, okay. Let's go back home. Let's grab the flow tackle and let's go fishing again. Okay, I am by the water as you can see and I chose a peg which has a like a bush on the other side. At this point I am not too sure whether I'll be able to get my maggots there. I mean if I'll be able to feed there but I will figure it out as soon as I can pretty much first thing I will do start feeding really. It's the best I can do more or less middle of the river I will quickly check on our catapult as well no guys I won't be able to get close to that bush but Still, it's not bad, middle of the river, that's all right, that's all right. It's interesting because the wind has dropped, it's, it has been windy, but now I almost could fish the stick float, but I won't risk, you know, if the wind will pick up. I rather, I rather stick with the, with the slider as I planned. I will get them going. I'm sure of it. Okay, that catapult will be okay. The first one, little pouch will go onto the belly. Looks like I gained some weight. Can't fit it anymore. I will put a couple of handfuls of those maggots into my pouch. And now it's very, very important to keep feeding, you know, just to have a constant stream of maggots going in whilst I'm preparing. I'm not losing I'm, I'm, any time, really. I'm just settling in and feeding at the same time. Beautiful. Hopefully I will catch something and it won't be a waste of time. That net preparation. As you can see, I even bothered to pick up my keep net. Hopefully I will need it. That's my rod. I will go over the tackle, what I'm using and why I'm using everything I am using a little bit later. But now I want just to get ready, you know, my tackle. And uh, yeah, after that, I will go in detail quite well.
as you can see on the other side guys I have plenty of like houses and stuff and they do create like lots of reflections it's quite difficult to see the float when you're fishing in this stretch but as it's so flat I think it will be quite nice just to watch the float and just bang it will be very very nice I'm sure of it okay rod is ready we'll get one of my hook links actually I will do like a rough plumb up I mean I know this river quite well so I will be more or less when I initially set my depth I will be probably no more than a half a meter away probably less than that than the depths I will end up fishing most of the day just fished this river quite a few times and I know more or less as I said guys I'm more or less happy already with how my float ended up trotting and that was the first go as I say I know this river quite well probably I will remove about 20 centimeters and that will be bang on I'm looking to fish over depths anyway and uh, I might need to adjust the depths a little bit during the the fishing but yeah that's more or less all right we'll chuck my rod on the ground some more feed I'm not looking to feed little and often today I'm looking to like we have fish competing on the bottom so I will go like three free catapults at, at the time so I will make sure that quite a bit of bait is going really on the bottom I mean the water is still very cold there won't be many small fish anyway so I just might get you know bream and chub and actually I might hook a bubble as well on maggots very very high opportunity for me to to hook a bubble Okay, now I will put the hook link on. The problem is that I don't have much time. Now it's three o'clock. I probably have about two, two and a half to three hours of fishing maximum, and then it will be dark. <laughs> okay, so very quickly why I decided to use my slider rig in relatively fast river. Basically, the problem is that this river, the trend is quite deep where I'm fishing. It's about three meters deep, so about 10 feet more or less. And to present any other rig like float rig, it would be quite difficult at distance. I mean, I'm looking to fish at about 20 meters plus distance. So I could use bolo, but again, I would need a longer rod. Now I am using only 13 feet, so three meters and 90, relatively short rod. And I hope you will see that still, I will be able to catch a few fish. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm using or why I chose the slider in this situation. Okay, I am about to perform my first cast. We'll put a few maggots on the hook right away. I'm not messing about, I will go with the, with the three maggots to start with and then I will see what is going on maybe I will need to you know put start start putting more or maybe less we'll see but again I'm starting with free really I'm going for a decent fish bream chub bubble okay let's go The rig has landed beautifully, the float is settling and settled. Nothing yet. 
right i will talk about the tackle i'm using for my slider fishing on the river so i will start with the rod that's at drennan series 7 12 foot 9 inches puddle checker uh, all i did for that rod uh, i like the blank it's quite fast but i changed the first guide from the reel because it was like nasty small one so i changed to a one which has long legs then the reel is diver tdr 3000 size then on the reel i have braid as you can see bright braid and fine one 0 0.10 uh, it's about p 0 0.5 i believe and uh, why why i cho chosen the braid basically on the river braid has every single property just right it floats it's fine it does not have stretch and i will be fishing at quite a distance so that's very very important and uh, again it does not have stretch so uh, i just will have to be a little bit more careful with my drag when playing the fish then obviously the rig is quite quite technical one so i won't be able to cover it as much in this video but i have a separate video just for that trick basically click on the link and also i will leave in the description about this rig but basically i have the braid going to here where i have my main shots and my float by the way that's a creluso pro slider 10 grams that's i just love those float, uh, floats they are plastic and you can kind of adjust the required weights and you can put some weights in the float actually just drop inside i love those floats so yeah and then i have a couple of shots onto the like silicone sleeve and the braided uh, braided line is connected to six fluorocarbon 0 0.30 fluorocarbon about a meter of that line and uh, the connection point or the knot is is hiding just under those shots so i don't i don't have any uh, knots somewhere else apart from where my hook link attached just to that thick fluorocarbon so my hook link is 20 centimeters long and made out of 0 0.13 fluorocarbon the hook is midi 6313 i believe size 12 it's decent size hook but fine wire and uh, as i'm fishing for decent fish and will be using decent baits like bunches of maggots that's great and uh, yeah i have a couple of number eight spots just on the knot where the loop is where the hook link is connected so yeah very well quite technical knot and obviously there is a stop knot as well uh, but i will cover that stop knot in that video uh, you will see the link just in the, in the corner so now i want to go and do some more fishing you know what guys you know what happened i have a bubble on It's not a brim for sure. I mean, it might be a chub, but no, it will be a bubble. It's not moving at all, like... It's just holding the flow. Okay, I mean, my hook link is only 0 0.13. Just look at that bend. And listen to the drag. It's definitely, I mean, it might be a chub, but I will be very, very surprised if that's a chub. It's not moving a lot. I hope you can see the line just going. It must be a bubble going downstream. Shaking the head a little bit. I mean, I will try to take my time and maybe land it. I don't know guys, I don't know. Should I should I just bully it or what? I don't know. Because obviously I'm not I'm not equipped to deal with it or my tackle is not not really for that. I mean I hooked it and I did not gain anything yet. So and to get it up upstream just holding the bottom knocking a little bit. Come on, give up please really guys if i would should i call someone to take advice i don't know because it will be it will be a long day it's what 15 21 so 21 past 3 
and I am playing that fish already for probably a couple minutes and uh, it will be I mean I don't like these situations because any little mistake or any little snag the fish will be able to find and it will bit you know maybe and it might happen at any second it might happen you know 20 minutes in into the fight and uh, I mean for me that means that I just wasted, wasted 20 minutes you know but on the other hand <laughs> probably I will risk it I just will do everything I can just to see if I can land this fish it's going upstream it must be a bubble the biggest chub should not be able to do that I mean 0.13 it's like it's not bad actually it's not bad I, I kind of kind of not in bad position and my rod is relatively long almost four meters so I should be able to you know get it above the snacks but again anything can happen in these situations fish definitely has all the you know right cards and I have just rubbish cards it's going upstream like I almost could say that I'm gaining some line but it's not because of my actions the fish is just going upstream it will be very very long long battle guys I can tell you right away it's already probably five minutes in and I they say I gained some line but just because the fish decided to to swim up uh, upstream nothing else Actually, it's a V, it fights. I don't think it will be small fish either. I think it will be, you know, might be double figure bubble. It would be something to get it out on such a light tackle. To hook it like in the first place. Oh, it's going downstream. Oh, no. I will get ready to run now. Yeah, it's going for it. Definitely a bubble. Just listen for the drag. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> I mean, I am enjoying it. I mean, as long as I accept the fact that I, c I can like lose it any second, as I said, it might happen after 20 minutes, you know. I'm not gaining much, just a fish swimming upstream and very slowly as well. It would be nice that the fish would decide to like do a little bit more of a run so it would waste more energy now it's like uh, swimming slowly you know it's not wasting much energy and I can't put much pressure even though my rod is bent properly I mean I'm putting as much pressure probably as I as I dare really but as it's a bubble and likely decent fish it does not feel like a small fish guys I mean it's, mo it's moving very slow and just sitting on the bottom. It did a couple of runs, but not a lot. I will observe what is happening around me. People are enjoying nice weather. <sighs> now I have the fish almost in front of me. I have my net there, but... <laughs> It will be it's about now six minutes I have that fish on so and I don't think it I mean it must be hooked properly I don't believe that it will be hooked in the tail it does not it does not behave like it would be hooked in the tail or something it should be hooked properly that fish is in front of me Keep swimming, Mr. Bubble. It would be nice, very, very nice to get that fish out. And like, oh no, it's going, it's going downstream. It will run, it will run, I can see. And I felt when it like changed the, well, its orientation, it just turned around more or less now it's, 
just sitting on the bottom almost. And the problem is that like last eight minutes I did not feed anything. I mean, yes, I did put quite a bit at the start, but <laughs> I can't get that that bream, shoal of bream competing now because I just don't have extra hand. Okay, the fish is quite close actually, but I mean, even though it's close, it's on the bottom, it's not like, I don't f feel that it's, you know, it, it's wasted, it's energy. Oh, I can see the stop knot, my stop knot just came up, so it means that the fish is about three and a half meters in the water, a little bit off the bottom, very close though to the bottom. Actually, I will grab my net now, just, you know, if I would be lucky enough to, to, to get like an, an early chance to just maybe, oh, I can see the float, I can't believe that I actually I will be able to see the fish, but now it's very, very, like, I can't believe. I can see the float. Can't believe that I am able, to, I will be able to see that fish like in a couple minutes. <sighs> now it's running as always, bubble always do that. You have to be ready, yeah, it's running. Quite, quite actually nice run, not, not very long one. Just look at that rod. I'm so careful now, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't paying much attention at the start, but now, as the fish is so close, like in the netting range almost, uh, I have to be extra careful, guys. That will be something if I will be able to land it on the float in very cold water. 0 0.13 hook link. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's running. Oh. <laughs> Oh, running again. I was prepared, I, I had my slack just right. My drag, I meant <laughs> slack enough, and then I will start again. It probably it will do one or, or two times the same run again once I will gain enough line. I have to be extra careful because I don't have much stretch in the line at all. So my rod and my reel is taking all the punches if you like from that bubble the float is coming up almost see the float yeah here is the float will get my drags just slacker because it will run yeah here it is they are quite predictable those bubble like they will run at least two times most of the time until they will like lose all the energy, you know, and then you will land them, but once they are closer to the bank, they will run no matter what. Okay, so now it's about 11 minutes into the fight. Okay, fish is giving up. I can see the stop knot. Fish is coming up. Keep coming, Mr. Bubble. You have to be so careful now, so careful. I if I will lose it now, it will be, you know, 15 minutes wasted. My hand is totally gone, guys. My my right hand. I'm holding my rod and, you know, like kinda, like just using enough muscle to not break, well, our fish would not break me. And, you know, it's quite tiring. Fish is coming, I can see the stop knot. Please, Mr. Bubble, give up, please. I can see the float in the water. He will run again. Yeah. But again, I was thinking it will stop, but no. I'm not really putting enough pressure on it. But I can't, I can't do anything. First, probably a couple minutes, I was not too sure should I start to bully it, you know, and get it out quickly, you know, or, or break off, you know. But now, as I wasted so many minutes, as I say, I, I, I just can't can't risk it but now almost I am like actually now I'm having fun almost because all the <laughs> kind of energy is gone and uh, yeah when you are tired yourself or your hands are tired you just 
all you can do is really laugh. Still, I am making sure that my drag is set just right, so I would not make any mistakes. See that rod? <laughs> that fish is crazy powerful, crazy powerful. From what I saw, it will be like 11 pounds maybe, maybe a little bit more, I don't know. I did not see the fish fully, I just saw it like in the water, probably half a meter in the water, maybe more. So it looked like a decently long and decently fat fish. The stop note is coming out now for, I don't know, seventh time or something like that. And the stop note is back in the water out again. <laughs> but the uh, fish is not giving up, I'm sure of it. Pulling it out a little bit. Will it run? Will it not? I don't know. It's coming out. Feels so heavy, guys, on that like relatively light tackle. about to see my float yes saw the float in the water float is out Ugh. float is out and the fish will run uh, I guess again maybe not it's not actually maybe maybe it will be it maybe it will be it guys it just kind of feels like it might be it I'm just thinking how do I land it, the best probably area to land is just here. Just to get it upstream a little bit and maybe then scoop it suddenly like when the fish won't be seeing me or the net. Okay, the not stop knot is going under, but no, it stopped. Fish is going up, fish is going up. Up, up, up. If I will land this one and don't really care if I will land anything else afterwards, would be very happy to land this one. I mean, I can tell you right away that not many people have ever achieved something like that, catching like bubble in almost winter conditions in the river on the slider and uh, also on 0 0.13 hook link fish is coming up is that it is that it we we'll have to be extra careful now it's like you know you have to put more pressure but still i have to be extra careful yeah, 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 we'll grab my net, here it is. Yeah, I think, I think he's, he's, he's more or less done fighting. He, he just splashed but did not run like very far. So that's a good sign. And the fish is now in a very, very good position actually. A little bit closer. Yeah, that looks like a double figure bubble guys, like about five kilos maybe. Yeah, I just saw the maggot sticking out. He's on the shallow water now. I can't risk it. Please stop, Mr. Bubble. He's definitely close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn around, Mr. Bubble, and dive in that net. Just barely got... And I broke my net as well, and the bubble got out. Yeah, that was something. That was something not 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 strong net, so and not not big my head head as well. I had it in the net and then <laughs> I kind of and the fish is definitely tired. I have just to make sure that I will get it close this time. Uh, 
It's a big bubble. Come on, big bubble, please stay on. He's he's almost mine. Just yeah, that's a double figure bubble, guys. Oh, okay, so 25 minutes in, and they have a big bubble in my net. Broke my net, but as you can see, the maggots are sticking just here. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So now I will take a break because I need it and also I will feed as well, will put that bubble into the net. It's definitely probably, yeah, about 12 pounds, I would say maybe 13 pounds, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, I would say maybe. I have that bubble on the mat here and I will show you that fish properly. It's a decent fish. How about that? <laughs> on the float, on light tackle as well. Awesome! <laughs> okay, I have my scales here as well. I will quickly see how heavy it is. I think it will be like 11 pounds, something like that. My battery is dying as well. Nothing is working for me today. We'll put the fish quickly into the wing sling. Might be, I think it will be about five kilos. It's quite, quite heavy fish. It feels quite heavy. Okay, I might stand up for it. Yeah, I just, I just took a weight of it. The fish was off the floor, and it says five kilos. I hope you can see five kilos, three hundred and five. So it will be about like uh, eleven plus, eleven plus. So. Yeah, one final look, then I will take a quick picture and let him go immediately. Can't keep him in the net at all, actually. It's bubble. Wow, can't believe such a big fish I landed on, li on light tackle. He's wriggly. Okay, one final look. How about that, guys? Awesome. <laughs> yes. Bubble on the floor. Okay, guys, that bubble is about to go into the flow actually he's going right away just look at that <laughs> yes okay it's looking lovely we'll mend the line a little bit still maybe i have an hour of fishing that was that was good one quite quite aggressive take what is it it should be a chub, it's banging its head, but I hope, I mean, probably you did not see anything because uh, the float was quite far, but it was positive and aggressive and uh, like I could tell immediately that it's a fish. So yeah, the third bite today, more or less, every, I mean, that, that uh, bubble was a little bit, you know, unexpected. I mean, that, that feels like a chub, actually. Not a big chublet, I think, because it's banging, but it's fast. Or maybe it's a roach, actually. It might be a roach. <laughs> big roach. Would not mind to catch a big roach, two pound plus. Definitely does not feel like a, like a bream, but again, it might be small, and you know, they are all bit crazy in this river. If I will get it out, it will be nice. What is it? Oh, that's a small bream, I think. Yeah. Don't complain, guys, to catch them on the float. Probably a couple pounds. Don't come off, but that was a good bite. Positive one, just dink. Here it is. It's mine. Wow, he nailed that. Wow. Here it is, easy job. Yeah, about two pounds, I would say. Okay. That's 
that rig is working just lovely. Yes, I did have a couple of small tangles, but when you're fishing at distance, you will get a tangle anyway. And I am chucking. Here it is, another fish. Yeah, they started to feed, guys. Two quick fish and uh, hopefully a couple more to come. Probably it will be another bream, but they are pulling. See, I mean, I'm really giving some stick for that fish and still it's banging the head. Yeah, I will definitely catch, I hope, a couple more. Just I waited long enough and they, you know, I will start to feed and uh, yeah, hopefully they they will keep on feeding and then I will catch a couple more. Now I will bully it a little bit more, not a big fish, I can see it, yeah. Even smaller actually, probably, than the previous one still, can't compre uh, complain. Couple pound bream in the flow, pulling back, see, pulling back. <laughs> And to catch them on the slider, you know, that's definitely something good skill to have. Come on, just get in that net. Got him. It's just here at the corner. Did not see it that well. Okay, thank you. Couple pounds. I am editing that footage I got from that slider fishing trip. And I forgot one very, very important bit. And that's how to set up slider or waggler rig when fishing in moving water. Basically, there are three main components. You must choose a float which has a relatively thick tip or antenna. I would say from 5 millimeters to 1 centimeter diameter will be great. Then you want to undershot the float. When I was fishing on that river, I had my float balanced out or set up just like that. It was sticking as much out. Then you want to set the depth to be deeper on the rig than it is in the swim you are fishing at. Obviously, as you will have it set deeper, there will be some line and your hook link and your hook bait dragging on the bottom. And obviously the drag will take out that undershotting and will set the float just to be more or less perfect. Obviously, that's a, a little bit of a balancing act I would say even an art to get that kind of perfect presentation. But once you get it right, actually it's deadly when you have the fish feeding on the bottom. But that's it. Let's get back to fishing. Nice chuck. Float is settling. It's man's the line and we are fishing. This rig is so effective, it settles quickly, you know, where you want it to. You don't have to wait, like, you know, it's almost like a feeder, you know, just... Uh, you're exploring more, more area than you would with a feeder. Come on, you fish. Yep. That was right at the end, right at the end, and decent bite as well. How oh, is shaking his head? Banging properly. Just look at that rod. Properly banging. That must be a bream. But I loved that bite at distance, probably 50 meters, close to 50 meters away. Bang! Float goes under. I am, and I am playing that fish. Wow. That's why why I love float fishing guys. You can't beat that, just you see that float and just bang, especially in the river, you know, it just goes, goes and bang. Wow. And not small fish as well, I mean, decent fish. Not like, you know, that long roach, couple pounds it will be at least. That rig is something guys, that rig is something. I'm not saying that I kind of came up with that idea, dragging the waggler, let's say, over depths. Actually, I read about this rig probably 15 years ago on Drennan's website. That fish is not happy. What is it? Is it a, like small breamster again? 
all right it's a chub it would be nice that it would be a chub it's like see it's like it's banging properly banging i don't know almost like a big roach would do but it's definitely not a roach oh it might be a chublet actually guys it is yeah it is not a big one probably three pounds or so how about that just look at, at that greedy devil get in that net almost here yep got him so species number three on the slider a chub just look his pet all those maggots see he was mopping them <laughs> i got you in the end anyways my hook came out in the net wow he spat like lots and lots of maggots thank you right letting those fish go that's a chub very good chub probably five pounds four five pounds very wriggly one thank you a couple of br brassam as well i mean i will still keep on fishing for probably more 15 minutes but i want to have my net dry when i will be going home thank you mr brassam for the take there should be another one as well here it is yes okay guys so i think i am i am about to start packing down so that's a bad boy which did all the business my slider rig uh, even though i had a couple tangles not very bad ones uh, i managed to get out of them but still i had a, i had them i had to admit so i might have to look at how to improve this rig but still uh, you can't you can't really argue, uh, argue that this rig did not work i had a couple bream bubble chub i lost couple fish as well had couple bites so and uh, even though it's almost winter still so yeah happy with the rig happy with couple hours of fishing i hope you enjoyed this video guys uh, i surely uh, enjoyed playing that bubble and overfish but that's that thanks for watching and see you in the next one